of this match is going to have to go up against Chen and Wayne Toppy tomorrow. Oof. I believe. I believe. That's going to be a big task for any of this. I'm pretty sure Chan NY is still in the venue, scoping out the competition, because these two are killers in their own right when it comes to this game. Ni nee on one side, John Ding on the other side. Island Paradise, of course. Beautiful stage. All right, let's see. Brought the wall to the stage. Strongest in the universe. Stream is live. You I never knew she had freckles. Round one. Well, you, you learn something new every day. <laughs> All right, DRX Knee. Going up against CNJ Jun Ding, two Korean superstar players. Conservative start on both sides. They're still just trying to feel it out, even though they have faced each other time and time again. But this is the first they're seeing each other in BAM 13. Look at that trade. That was crazy. And he's going to get the better half of it. The follow up here into the wall. Look at the damage. Oh, that's definitely no joke here. But now answers back immediately with a rage drive. He gets the hockey. Try to extend the combo here. Pushing towards the center. And just like that, the follow-up guaranteed puts him into the red. Oh, spins Get the off drive me. right away. So now Mono Imano gets the war drum finish there. John Ding, first round win. I like that. Able to get the round with the confidence here. Ooh, being a confidence. Knee, able to pull the trigger there, pushing towards the wall. Finding his way back. Nice block on the low great there. Great defense there from Knee. Just great reactions, knowing he has opening. Knowing where the gaps are as well. Look at that, working on a huge life lead, but again, Jun Ding, he can go crazy. He can. And when he goes crazy, if he starts landing those hits, the momentum sometimes could be too much. Trying to push for the mad axis there, but Ni nee knows what's ahead of him. He knows it's a wild man in front of him. Just goes for a conservative finish there. Gets round number two. Yeah. Here we go, nice down forward two. Gets a down forward one into the sway. Follow up here. Ooh, decent damage here to build up early on. That's usually the case. Gets the tackle. Nice escape there by Jun Ding. Eats a DF1 in the process and knee. Try to go for a knee. The classic, right? Very apropos. Okay, didn't get the, the punish that he wanted. I think he was thinking about the wall standing three there. He's been blocking these lows like it's nobody's business, man. Knee is on point with the defense, but the back four lands on John Ding. Oh, he I missed it. Get it. What happened? That's big. Kind of heartbreaking, but you know what? We shall move on here. John Ding still on the offensive trigger here. Has a chance, but he puts him into the red. Let's see what happens. Good block, but did not block the second hit. Watch out. He's got range, guys. He just needs one launch. One well-timed death fist. John Ding waiting out the clock. The rage drive is spent. Final seconds goes for the swift low step. Beautiful sequence there by John Ding. Here we go. Two rounds to one. Can he make a comeback here? But he lands a big counter, and this is one way to do it. He's going to do a ton of damage here base-wise. Pushes him towards the wall, too. This is where it can get dangerous here, but he has to watch out for the Magic 4. He has to watch out for anything that goes out. Exactly, especially with John Ding. He's a wild man, and he'll keep throwing, even though if he, if he has a pixel of health, he'll go for it. Elbows are coming out, though. Nice duck. Mm -hmm. Wasn't able to capitalize on any punish, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's just the awareness. True. Nice, 4-4-2, four, four, able to land here. Uh-oh, John Ding in trouble here. Final seconds. Oh, the talk once again for me to close it out. Final round between these two giants. All right, who's going to draw first blood here? Very, very important. Game number one, mm -hmm. which could be a qualifier for winner's side top eight. And constantly crouch dashing in his face. Overwhelming John Ding with options. Raises it up. And now John Ding collects a huge chunk of life lead here. Oh, that was huge there with the counter hit up forward one. Gets the positioning at the wall too. And he's going to have to be very, very careful. He circles away around already. Good block on there on the side step too. Definitely controlling the center of this stage. But John Ding would glad. Sadly, close it out, close out the distance here, but Knee slowly chipping away. He does have the life deficit, though. He's going to have to deal with it. He's going to have to be careful. The low's starting to come out. Goes for the mix-up, doesn't fall for it. Almost swings to the knee. John Ding working, giving Knee some rage. Both of them have rage, Mark Mack. Oh, he gets oh! out of rage. And the rage drive back at you, and John Ding able to take game number one. That was a quick drop. I've called one, right? Able to, who is going to, who is going to pull the trigger first? It was Knee. Just, I, I would say, hair's breath away. Yeah, yeah hair's breath away so close but john ding also had his hand on the trigger able to capitalize on it beautiful stuff i'm holding heihachi's hand right now with how nervous yeah. i am yeah <laughs> these action figures they they're emotional support as well they are <laughs> all right we're gonna go back into it it is a stage select so knee is gonna be sticking with paul phoenix mm -hmm. it looks like we are going to the abandoned temple okay bigger stage i mean julia still can find the wall from wherever she is 
that's how crazy she is. I think that just allows Nii just the the movement, the, the freedom of movement here. But if John Ding can continue that uh, that rapid pace, he could be moving on here. All right, we'll see, of course, how it's going to play out for both of these players. John Ding, obviously, I mean, both of these players, they, they do want the winner side top eight. Mm -hmm. That is the comfort zone. You want to be able to sit fight in a happy place for tomorrow. <laughs> All and right. not the very scary and fearful loser's bracket in Shark Infested. I mean, you never know. Sometimes it could unlock an inner beast or an inner demon. Yeah. Nice down forward one on the crowd. Oh. Able to get the follow-up and everything's starting to hit for Jun Ding. Beautiful sequence and not even halfway through the round. Knee has rage. He's going to need to try and swing for the fences here if he wants to stay alive in round number one. Yeah, sometimes the fences will come to you. Let's see if you can <laughs> suck them in with a nice big counter hit like you did in earlier rounds. Oh, one, two, playing kind of conservatively here. John Ding, nice block on the low to the rising four, takes the first wow. round in his game number two. Yeah, he noticed that a lot of these approaches, especially towards the end of the round, was with that quarter circle four, three. This time able to block and punish appropriately. Yep. No, nope, didn't fall for it. <laughs> Still staying in the pocket here. Yeah, John Ding not baiting, not being baited out by Nii. Humble swings for the punish there by Nii. Uh oh, good counter hit. Let's see what he does. On one, he's trying to change up the offense here. He knows that the approach hasn't been working out so well. Goes for that good punish. He locked and reloaded, ready to go, but maybe being a little bit too content. All these lows are starting to land and chip away. Life lead in favor of Jun Ding. That's way to just get away from the chicken kicks and knee. Oh my goodness, eats one chip damage for him to be round able to. Uh, oh my god, actually, Jun Ding one round away from moving on. Yeah, just like that. That was quick. Back to back round. That'll do it sometimes. No duck there on the on the follow up. Here comes a big down forward two. Knee with the elbow. The follow up here gets the demo man pushing towards the wall here. And this is where he can really hurt if he's against that wall. Let's see if Jun Ding. So far, baiting these chip damage gets the palm, and now watch the push for that wall. Good punish by Knee. Yeah, just outside of range there, was able to evade that throw back one, two, able to land. Knee fighting back, of course, he wants to be able to even things up. Goes for the twist and shout, good break there. Mad Axe's break back at you. He's just trying to frustrate John Ding at that point. Gets the low parry here, he's trying to make it overextend and play a wild style for him to be able to punish accordingly. Nice, nice block. Again with the sidestep two, trying to get out of there, trying to get away in. Uh oh, gotta be careful here. Look at the pressure here from me. The back sways. Oh my goodness, he's just keeping John Ding in this corner, but he finds his way out. Oh, big counter hit there with the sidestep low attack. The follow up here. What's he gonna do? How's he gonna get in? He does have good positioning here towards the wall. One hit can do it for him. He has oh. the range. And again with the back one two, back to back round. From me, final round here, game number two. Yeah, he's been on the money with the back one too, those pummeling swings, and he's just waiting for John Ding to open it up. Look how many times I've lost count. Oh, try to catch him with the knee, try to catch him ducking, but the tip of the down forward too. This is huge, he's gonna push towards the wall. Gets oh. the wall, the three, two, follow up back swing. Here we go, he's gonna try to go for another splat, but John Ding has other plans. He fights his way out of that situation. He's still aligned at the wall though, so it's super dangerous. Knee has him where he wants him. And he close it out though. Looking oh, to do it in a down back three, does it, and they're tied up here. One game apiece, very clean round from Nii. He was able to turn on the pressure when he needed to. Those last two rounds were a very nice showing of the offensive pressure that Nii has. And that's what's so scary, right? You're, you're so close to actually closing it out, but Nii able to make the downloads, able to make the, the right reads, and now he has this, I would say, this, this smothering style for specifically for John Ding, for him to be able to um, punish accordingly with the back one twos and just find the, the walls and now Mishima Dojo for sure we're going to see the walls here. Oh yeah and I feel like he was testing him too. He was going for the down forward once way back at so repeatedly yes. back and forth trying to get a reaction out of him but he didn't bite. Mm -hmm. But again that's going to obviously come into mind as he as he sits there defensively he might be put in the same situation again. Maybe Nii's going to start trying to open him up with lows. Who knows? Nii hasn't really tried to take the advantage to go for bigger risk attacks but I wouldn't be surprised especially in this final game Will he do it or will he rely on his defense? He's been doing such a great job of waiting for opportunities to use the back one two. Yeah. Use something bigger. Go for the down four two, especially on the range. Grab. Wow, this time with the two break, the follow up here. Mad axes. No dice there for John Ding, but Nee now trying to go in the offense. And yes, he can play kind of wild, gets a big counter hit, and yeah. now pushes for the wall. 
Oh yeah, not just that, he does get the wall follow up here. Mm. Gets the damage as well, what's the mix? Goes for the fucking pedal one more time. Oh, just chips at the legs here. He could just go for one conservative poke and he's gonna get this, but John Ding still has rage, so he can't rest on his laurels just yet. Yeah, knee not ducking, he's not gonna fall for it, but a bow and arrow. Everything's starting to whittle away. Oh. He has to do something. Oh my goodness, nice throw escape there by Nee. Bow and arrow lands once again. Rage try pushing towards the wall. He just needs one more pull. He gets the devil. Oh my god, the Phoenix He smasher. tried to fusion dance with him, but nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Nee now in the lead. Able to get that big hit here and the round lead. This is huge, and he gets the follow up there with the magic four. He's gonna push towards the wall as well. He gets it. Look at the damage, look at the mix. Uh oh, John Ding. Life is not looking too good, and now Nii has definitely been a step ahead in this bout so far. John Ding has that rage. Don't count him out, though. Oh, yeah, do not count him out, because one big hit can do it. Pressuring with that down 4-2, dash pressure. Let's oh. see what he does with it. Tried to enter with that party crasher, but no. Tried to go for the burning arrow. The, the elbow of Julio, one of her best tools, was a little short. Nii, just the constant moving target. One round away from heading on to the top eight. Oh, ultimate tackle. Able, able to get out of it. Okay, so far so good on both sides. Tries to raise it up there, John Ding. Kind of healthy, but this is Paul Phoenix we're talking about. He hits like a truck. Oh yeah, very scary because a lot of quarter six, four, three here. A lot of low pressure from Nee. Really trying to open up his opponent, trying to catch him. Oh, oh the defense on Nee. These lows gets to tackle. No, gets stuffed by John Ding. 30 seconds left on the clock. Oh, he's man. setting him up for something big. He's going to have to be careful. He doesn't want to eat a big sway back four mm -hmm. or anything like that because I feel like that's going to be coming out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Or those back threes. Anything to catch John Ding off guard. He's still constantly checking. The clock is whittling down on John Ding's side, though. G-Clef Cannon tries to follow it up with that knee. Gets the rising four, and now John Ding's in this competition. Four. This yeah. final game, at least. Great block there, and of course, gets the punish in the round. Junding again, fighting for this. This is huge. Again, winner of this moves on to winner side top eight. Yeah, and now we see that knee playing a little more conservatively, trying to find a, uh, an opening here on this round for John Ding. But so far, he's just throwing out buttons. He's throwing out magic fours just to try to clip knee coming in. Again, both of these players, such a powerhouse when it comes to landing counter hits or a big hit early on. They have the ability to juggle and do a lot of damage at the wall. Yep. But look at this circling around. They're in the middle of the stage, jockeying for that position. Look yeah. at Nii, throwing out the wall standing three, trying to get a big hit. Mm -hmm. It's usually like, yeah, the 15 second mark, that's when these players get busy. Oh, yeah. Nii would gladly uh, make that happen. But now, John Ding is in the life lead, so Nii is kind of forced to go on the offense here if he wants to take this round. Yeah, very, very close, though. Right now, D getting the second hit, the follow-up, this is big. He's going to have to start doing something, otherwise we're going to go to a final final. And it looks like we might have to. Oh, Here we go, final, goodness. final round between these final two. Round. Next round is going to go to the victor, and of course they're going to get top eight winners. Nice whip punish. That's when the back one two start coming out. Tried to, to walk it, but John Ding with the, the tracking move. Still trying to overwhelm him with options. He's going more on the offense now, but it's working so far. Oh yeah, he's trying to challenge back here. Go for the war jump. Trying to test him here, but a great block and a great duck there from John Ding. Okay, chipping away at the legs, but Nee says has other he plans. He the knockdown. This is this is crazy. This uh -huh. is scary. You got to be careful. Goes really with the down forward. You try to catch him on the way in. Ultimate tackle one more time. Get Second hit. Oh, they're really going back and forth here, Mark Man. Nee almost that rage. So it's John Ding. The bow and arrow lands. Oh nee. my God. He went for the hammer. The follow up here again with the low. Got to be careful. Good block and the punish. Oh. And the punish. He was in rage. It was enough to do the damage. And Nee moving on. Thank you.